Jordan. Six to shoot. That falls. Nice speed that time from Dwayne Wade. Difference in that first period. You've got to block these guys out. Yes, you know this, GA. Back in our day, in any day, really, if you don't block out somebody, you will sit down. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. Hey, what's going on guys? Sam here back again with another video and today, as you can probably tell from the title and the thumbnail, I have a playbook tutorial for you guys. I've been getting this request a lot. Hey Sam, what playbook do you use? What are the plays? How do I run it? And that's what today's video is going to cover. And as you can tell, I run the Knicks playbook. So a couple things out of the way. I have the playbook on the screen here and the price on the auction house. There's only 29 plays in this playbook. I think in comparison to others, that's pretty that's pretty low. And it's very limited in the number of plays you can run. There's zero isolation plays. There's 13 pick and roll. There's no post up high plays. There's seven three point plays. I think that's that's a little above average. But there's definitely other playbooks with more three cutter plays. There's zero mid-range plays, and then there's not any guard post up So very limited playbook, but as you see throughout the video, there's just so many options. It's a very read and react type playbook, and it really can help counter the situations you find online by making the opponent have to on-ball if you ever run into off-ball problems. Another thing I want to bring to attention is make sure to have this playbook equipped on the lineup you're running. I get this play or this question all the time on my... On my um, quick through STS tutorial, hey, Sam, the play's not there. It's broken. They removed it. No, you have to make sure you equip it to your playbook or to your lineup. So there's that. And then another thing I want to bring to your guys' attention is if you want to have the same view or see the same things as the tutorial is seeing, you want to make sure you go into your coach settings. And I just re recommend running this in general because it just helps your offense. You know your, where your players are going more than if you have this off. So what you want to do, go to your coach settings and make sure the play vision is on full. You have the offensive play vision on all plays. And then I also recommend this really has no correlation with the plays um, showing up on the court, but turn off adaptive coaching engine. If you have that on, turn that off. That's really annoying. Uh, you, you just want that off. Trust me. And then I also have the offensive and defensive play calling a manual. Um, you can leave it on automatic, but for the sake of the tutorial and just for the way I play, you want it on manual so the CPU isn't running plays for you. You want to decide what you're running and at what time. So anyway, let's get right into the first play, guys. Also, just a quick thing before we get into the plays here, guys. I want to show you how you can practice these plays against the CPU or not even in a 5v5 game, just a, in a mode where you guys can just practice the plays over and over and over and just see the different options instead of going in blind online. So what you can do is go to the play now, go to the 2KU, and you go to the practice plays feature here. And what you want to do is make sure you equip the current Knicks. And when you go load that up, you can, you're can you going to have the current Knicks playbook, aka the one that I'm showing you today in this video. And you can just choose all the plays that I'm showing you in the video and just keep running through them until you, you know, you have them memorized. All right, guys. So the first play I have for you is quick point three. Now this runs through your small forward or it can run through your shooting guard. It can really run through anyone with three point plays. And we're going to run through the play here in its entirety. And we're going to get Larry Bird with a wide open three from a downstream from some bonus. Now there's just so many options in these plays guys just so many options they always end up where if you need a bailout it ends up in a pick and roll pick and fade situation so with d wade we're going to come over give the ball to mj almost to the screen to get mj open and sabonis is going to hit a down screen for our small forward larry bird easy money every time now another option of this play not running it all the way through is we can just get a wide open look for mj like i said earlier I almost try to set a screen with my point guard. It can be risky. You can lose the ball, but I get in front of the defender here. Simone is going to set a screen, and MJ is just wide open all day. And that's that's not even running the play all the way through. That's just a second option. Now, another option here, guys, is, like I said, it always comes down to just a pick and roll, pick and fade situation if you need a bailout. Look at this. We're going to run it towards Larry Bird. And look at this. The defender gets through the screen. What do we do? Simone sets a very high screen, rolls to the hoop. If it was a more athletic center, we could have yammed it, but we get kind of a short pick and pop situation right there. So yeah, like I said, it always comes down to pick and fade, pick and roll if you need a bailout, if you don't get your first intended look. And that's what I really love about this playbook. All right, so the next play I have for you guys is called quick point four. It's one of those money plays or quick hitter plays. It's the money play 
of the Knicks playbook. There's really not much to it. It's just a down screen from your center for the three-point shooter, in this case, Larry Bird, run it to the small forward. And yeah, I would say you get open 60 to 75% of the time. Eventually, your opponent's gonna catch on if they, you know, pass my cue. So that's why you need to know that there's like emergency pick and roll, pick and fade, uh, I guess, function of this playbook. So what you're gonna do here is on the second option, if you're not open, you'll see here, Larry Bird's actually open, but I wanna show you guys for the sake of the tutorial. What I like to do is hold L1 here. I let the CPU just do it, but I like to hold L1 and read and react. And in this case, I would have done a fade like the CPU did. But what I like to do is hold L1 and you can either dunk it with Larry Bird, dish it to a rolling center, or dish it out to your center at the top of the key. All right, so the next play I have for you is called Quick Point 2. I was kind of hesitant to throw this in the video just because I really don't use it too much myself because the second option can get kind of sloppy here. But as you can see, it's another quick hitting play. I really only use this when my shooter has, you know, sharpshooter takeover. And because it's just two screens from your big guys on the arc there. Now, the second option, again, I, I feel like it only activates when you don't have your three point shooter in the center or in the corner waiting for the screens. Maybe it was because the CPU in this case is double teaming. I'm not really sure, and I've been using this playbook for a few years. It's just not too reliable, but I thought I'd mention it because it does get your sharpshooter wide open if they have takeover, you know, you're going to hit it anyway. But as you can see here, here's the second option. I ran out of time on the shot clock because of the offensive rebound, but the second option here, your power forward will come set a screen, and what you have is another pick and roll situation. So I thought I'd throw that in there because it's good to always have different looks to throw at your opponent, but I really wouldn't spam this play too much and I really only use it myself when my sharpshooters have takeover or I want to hit my opponent with a different look. All right, next up guys, we probably have my favorite play in this entire playbook. It's called Quick Nicks and it's because there's just so many options, probably the most options out of any play in this playbook. And the first option here is a nice dime from your center on the low block so you can score there or you can dish it up to your sharpshooter at the top of the key. So I'll run through here the play again, just in a little slow motion. You're gonna start by giving it to your power forward. You can look here. What you wanna do is dish it down to your big. Sometimes you get a mismatch there, the guard switches on. But in this case, I'm showing you the three point option at the top of the arc. So like I said, there's so many options with this play. Look at this. So we're gonna call quick nicks and we're just gonna totally disregard the pass to the power forward. We're just gonna keep standing here and what's gonna happen is your bigs are gonna set two down screens for your shooting guard. Look at this, Michael Jordan wide open, catch and shoot, bang, wide open. There's option number two. And ready, how about this, a third option, a third option here. So to trigger this option now, what you wanna do is you're gonna give it to your power forward at the top of the arc again, but instead of dumping it down to your center, what you're gonna do is just wait and trigger the third option. Now you could pull it from Rage Center if your power forward has Rage Center. I have got some good looks that way, but look at this. Larry Bird wide open cutting across the bottom of the paint it's just so hard to guard this if you're off balling it's just going to force off ballers to have to play on ball because the CPU just doesn't play good defense but look at this here we're in a wait and look at this Larry Bird just wide open Michael Jordan sets a screen Simone sets a screen wide open three I can't tell you how many times I've hit crucial shots or even game winners off this quick Knicks play all right, so the next play I have for you guys is the Quick Knicks 3. Now, the second option here is going to look very familiar to the second option of the Quick Knicks play, hence the same name. But the first option here, I don't use too often, but I'm going to show you. It's just a handoff, and it leads to either a wide open 3 or mid range for Larry Bird or another 3 point opportunity for your shooting guard. I'll slow it down here. Again, I don't use this first option too much just because this handoff can kind of get sloppy and you can turn it over. I almost turned it over against the CPU, you can see. But I'll pause it here. You can see Larry Bird is gonna be wide open for a three and that's who I passed to, or Michael Jordan would have been wide open after getting a down screen from Bill Russell. Now, the second option, again, it's gonna look very familiar. I use this probably more than the first option just because it's kind of one of those quick hitter plays. You're gonna call quick Knicks three, disregard the initial pass, and MJ's gonna get two down screens, wide open, green bean, all day guys, all day. Just so many options on these plays, whether it's another down screen for another three point shooter or a pick and roll, pick and fade option. Just so many plays guys, you're always gonna keep your opponent guessing. Up next, we have the quick piston snap. Now this is a play I've actually been using a lot recently, just because 
you kind of have a decision to make how many screens you want for your three-point shooter. So the first option here, and the one I use the most, is a double screen from your point guard and your power forward for your shooter. Now, if you don't think you have enough time or you just want to get a shot off even quicker, look at the second option. You can hold it here, pass it to Bill Russell, and just hold and let your point guard set a screen for Larry Bird. Now, I don't really recommend that just because most point guards don't have brick wall. I don't think any point guards really have pick brick wall. So unless they have a huge player model, I really recommend you try to get it to your, your big man. But in this case, again, you can see whoever the ball handler is, they're going to set a screen for that three-point shooter. And the last play I have for you guys is the quick Knicks 2 play. Now, I put this towards the end, not because it's not good. It's actually one of my favorites. It's just, it takes some extra work to get it to appear on your screen. You have to set it in the offensive settings. I'll show you how to do that after this play here. But as you can see, Larry Bird gets wide open from a screen from your power forward. I'll run that back again. So you're going to call it for your shooter. In this case, Larry Bird. You're going to pass it to your shooter, actually. Dump it over to your power forward. Dump it down to your center. I love this play because... If the ball's in Sabonis' hands, whoever's going to catch it is probably going to green. And downstream from Bill Russell, the TPU gets confused, and Larry Bird's wide open at the top of the arc. I don't see many opponents expecting that look every time. But again, the reason I put this at the end is because you have to do some extra work. You have to go into your offensive settings. You have to scroll down to your play selection. As, and as you can see, I already have it equipped here on the fourth slot just so I can hit L1 to call the play. But you have to do some extra work and assign this play to whoever you want to run it to. So that's why I just kind of put it here at the end. And if you guys didn't know, you can assign any play to any player just by going to the offensive settings. So now you know. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you learned something. And please feel free to hit the like button. These videos definitely take some time to make. So if you can hit the like button, it really does help me out. And it recommends the video and my channel to other people like you watching. So... I'd really appreciate that. And if there's any way I can help you, let me know in the comments below. I've been running this playbook for two years. So if you're having any problems, let me know. I'm more than willing to help. You could also feel free to stop by my stream sometime. We live stream every day and I'd be willing to help you there as well. But guys, until next time, I will see you later. Peace out.